Hello, I'm Nathan Graham, Product Training Specialist from New Holland Agriculture. Today, I would like to explain how to operate New Holland's Auto Command transmission. The Auto Command has been in production on our T7 series for six years and was introduced to our Genesis T8 series lineup for model year 14. After this brief video, you will see the simplicity in operation and the efficiency the Auto Command could bring to your farming operation. Updated with the introduction of Tier 4A, and like our PowerShift transmission, we have an FNRP lever, where we can remove the tractor from park and ask for either forward or reverse. The lever will return to a center position after a selection has been made. On the Command Grip multifunction handle, we have a second option to shuttle shift. We can select forward or reverse, but only after a direction has first been requested by the FNRP. A third way to shuttle this tractor is simply by moving the command grip forward or backward. While we are talking about moving the command grip, let's look at the innovative New Holland feature of force-based movement. Force-based movement means the farther you push the command grip, the faster you will go. Letting go of the command grip while accelerating will hold you at the speed when you stop pushing forward. Pulling back on the command grip will slow you down and eventually bring you to a stop. Next you see we have a plus button and a minus button. These buttons allow you to move through three forward and three reverse target speeds. These speeds are shown in the A-Post and on the IntelliView monitor. As an example, plus will move you from F1 to F2, minus will move you back to F1. To set the target speeds, we use the thumb wheel. After selecting F1, it will be highlighted, Rotate the thumb wheel to increase or decrease your target speed. It's important to note F2 and F3 can only be equal to or greater than the next lower target speed. There are four modes that enable you to further customize the Auto Command transmission. When keyed on and as a default, the tractor will be in Auto Mode. A is shown in the A post and on the IntelliView monitor. Auto means that once you select a direction with the FNRP lever, you can simply push forward on the command grip handle or press down on the go pedal and the tractor will begin to move. If you are in F1 and it is set to 5.2 miles an hour, you will only go a maximum of 5.2 miles per hour. Still talking about the four modes, the next is cruise mode. Cruise is simply an extension of auto mode pressing the C button on the command grip will move you to your target speed without you having to do anything else. So once you start moving the tractor, press C and we will move the 10 miles per hour, which is what our target speed is in F2 right now. Next, we have manual mode. Manual mode is activated by pressing the M on the Sidewinder 2 armrest. Manual mode gives the operator full control of the tractor. You control the engine speed level and forward speed travel independently, like a power shift transmission. The PTO mode activates when you engage the PTO. First, set your engine speed for the required PTO output. You then set your forward using the thumb wheel. In PTO mode, the engine speed will remain constant to maintain your PTO application. Now, let's talk about the sensitivity and aggressiveness setting. The toggle button is located on the Sidewinder 2 armrest. Push the button to rotate through three settings. One light is ideal for heavy draft implements. Slow acceleration will ensure maximum power and torque is maintained through speed changes. With two lights, there is an immediate response to speed changes. Bailing is an example of when two lights might be advantageous. You will increase speed, however, not too fast avoiding baler overfeed. With three lights, the transmission's response is most aggressive. This is useful for roading operations, such as manure haulers or moving from field to field. The examples of use for sensitivity and aggressiveness are to give you an understanding of the customization possibilities. Essentially, your preference will play a large part in deciding how you want the tractor to perform. Visit your local New Holland dealer and ask to demonstrate the Auto Command transmission to see for yourself how easy it is to program and operate. Thank you for watching New Holland Agriculture's How to Operate the Auto Command Transmission. 
be sure to watch our other how-to videos to get the most out of your investment.